Welcome to the Student Registration and Enrollment Tutorial. The easiest way to ensure students are loaded into the portal and enrolled in the correct course is to use the comma delimited file. First, fill out a spreadsheet with all the required information. This information needs to include at least the following fields. Username, a unique username for the student. We recommend using the student's email address or student ID number. Password, a password for the student. First name, the user's first name. Last name, the user's last name. Email, an email address. This will not be validated. As long as it looks like an email address, the system will accept it. However, an incorrect or invalid email address makes it impossible for users to change their passwords without administrative assistance. Course 1. This is a unique short name that you must include as a part of every course. By entering this short name, you will enroll the student into the course. You can still upload users without this field, but this field is required to enroll users into courses using the spreadsheet. To find this short name, log into the Moodle portal, click on the course in which you need to enroll the student. The short name can be found at the top of the screen at the end of the navigation bar. A comma delimited file reads commas as new columns. Therefore, if any commas appear in the file, an error will appear in the upload. For example, using entries such as Louisville, Kentucky, or Bob Smith, Jr. will create errors because of the commas in the entries. If the same student will be enrolled in more than one course, you can use two options with the spreadsheet. Option 1. You can add more columns to the spreadsheet to represent additional courses into which the student will be enrolled. With this method, each student will appear as only one row in the spreadsheet, even if you are enrolling them in several courses. The spreadsheet has a column for Course 1. You may also add additional columns, Course 2, Course 3, etc. After adding the additional columns, simply add short names into these columns to enroll the account into the corresponding courses. You can add up to six courses at a time to a student's account. You may leave these columns empty for students enrolling in fewer courses. Option 2. You may also add each enrollment as a separate line so a student takes up one line per course for which he or she is enrolled. Every field for the same student should be identical except for Course 1. Each entry under Course 1 for the same student should contain a different short name. If, for some reason, the entries in the other columns are not identical, the system will only keep the entry in the bottommost column for that student. When using this option, a later step must be considered. Add new and update existing users must be selected from the Upload Type menu when adding the spreadsheet to Moodle. Once the spreadsheet is complete, save it as a CSV to upload it properly. From the main page of the portal, navigate to Upload Users. Select Users under Site Administration within the Settings block. Select Accounts. Then, select Upload Users. Browse for the CSV file. Be sure to choose the CSV format and not any other format. Leave all upload selections on their defaults unless a change is required. See the documentation for more detailed information about these settings. Click on Upload Users. On the page that appears, check your settings. Upload Type determines what will happen with uploaded users. Add New Only Skip Existing Users will upload only users from the spreadsheet who don't already have accounts. Add all append number to usernames if needed, will add a new account for each user and add a number if a username already exists. For example, if you already have a J. Smith and another student has the same username, the second user will become J. Smith-1. Add new and update existing users will add any new users and also change the information for existing users. Using the previous example of J. Smith, only one J. Smith account will exist with the information from the new spreadsheet simply added to the old account. Update existing users only will only update existing users and will create no new accounts. Moodle will skip entries that contain new usernames. The new user password option controls whether the password field is required or whether Moodle will automatically create a password if necessary. It is recommended that you require passwords in the field and add them to the spreadsheet. Existing user details controls how Moodle handles student information in the file. Four options exist. No changes prevents all changes. Override with file allows overrides only from the upload itself, skipping the defaults. Override with file and defaults will also override what a student has entered if it doesn't match what is in the defaults section below. Fill in missing information from file and defaults means that Moodle will add the information only if it wasn't there before. Thus, if the student had no ID but an ID number exists for the student in the spreadsheet, 
Moodle will add the ID number, but no other information will change. Existing user password controls whether Moodle will change the password specifically from the spreadsheet. If you are not changing other user information, you cannot change the password. No changes prevents the password from being overwritten. This means you do not have to change a student's password when entering him or her into a new course. The Allow Rename setting allows you to add a field called Old Name to the spreadsheet. If the Old Name field contains an existing username, then Moodle will change the student's username to match the name listed under Username. The Allow Delete setting allows you to add a field called Delete to the spreadsheet. The system will remove anyone with a value of 1 in the Delete column. The user will be removed from the portal entirely. The Prevent Email Address Duplication option generates an error message if an email already in use is repeated. The Select for Bulk Operations option opens the bulk user screen once you have uploaded the users. From here, you may send a message to all users or print or save a list of users. Default Values. This section allows you to preset the defaults for a number of values for the users you upload. By making these selections, you do not need to manually enter all the information or rely on students to input the information. For example, you can use this option to indicate that everyone is, by default, from the city where the school is located and leave it up to the individual users to change their city later. Once you have checked all settings and selected the file, click on the button marked Upload Users. A report of the results appears. It lists everything that has just uploaded and provides a count of new users, accounts modified, and errors at the bottom of the report. You may copy and paste this report into a word processing or spreadsheet file and save it for your records. Click Continue to finish. Besides the default fields, you may also add a number of additional fields to the enrollment spreadsheet. These allow further customization of the spreadsheet to meet the specific needs of the institution. To add a field, add a new column to the spreadsheet. To see additional fields available in their descriptions, please see the documentation. The next section will cover how to enroll an individual user in a course. At times, it may be more convenient to enroll an individual user instead of uploading many users at once with the spreadsheet. To add a single user profile from the main page of the course, navigate to Add a New User. Select Users under Site Administration, select Accounts, then select Add a New User. Fill in all relevant information. The items with the red asterisk are required. Once finished, click on Update Profile at the very bottom of the screen. You may now enroll the user into a course. To enroll the user, navigate to the main page by clicking on the Home link in the top left corner of the page. Choose a course from the main page and click on it. Locate the Settings block and click on Course Administration. Click on Users. To enroll a student or instructor, click on Enrolled Users. Click on the Enroll Users button. From the top drop-down box, click on the name of the role you want to assign. Click on the Enroll button next to the name of the users you want to assign to the selected role in the class. The user is now enrolled in the course once you select the Enroll button. This concludes this presentation. To close this window, click the Exit button at the top of the screen.